Hello guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple map animation like this that can be used for your travel videos. This kind of map animation can be very useful to show your audience the places that you've been in your travel journey. I'm going to extract images from Google Map and we're going to be using two software to do this, which are Adobe Photoshop and After Effects. So let's get to it. So now we are on Google Map. So far, there's no way you can save the image from Google Map. So what I'm going to do is to only print screen right from Google Map. I'm going to do two print screen. One is this whole big area of Indonesia map. And another one is zoom in only on central Java Island, which is going to be used only for reference. And the reason why I'm on satellite mode here is because I want to turn off the label on the map. So I'm going to do one print screen and change the mode from satellite to map and zoom into Java Island and another print screen here. So now I will drag the satellite image to Photoshop and do some cropping to take out the unnecessary part. Next, I will go to select color range and click on the blue area to make the selection. I can press shift on my keyboard and keep on clicking the blue part of another area. As you can see on the small window, the white area is increasing and this is the part I'm going to delete. So I'll keep pressing until I get as much as I can and once I'm happy with the result, press OK and press delete on my keyboard. I'm going to clean up a bit here. Ok now, I'm going to make a selection on the land area so I press the Apple key on my keyboard or Control if you are on Windows and click on the layer here to make the selection of the land area. Then I'm going to go to Marquee Tool, right click on the selection and choose Make Work Path. The tolerance should be around 0.5 to 1 and I'm going to click OK. Now we have turned our selection into a vector so I can resize this vector bigger. So I'm going to create a new layer, delete this layer since I don't need it anymore. Go to image, canvas size, change it to pixels and make it bigger to maybe around 5000 and 3000. So now I'm going to resize this vector to fit the screen. Now I'll fill this vector with a solid color. So I'm going to change the foreground color to somewhere between orange and brown. That's okay. And then I'm going to go to path, fill path change the foreground color and OK. I don't need the vector anymore, so I'm going to right click here again and delete path. Crop this and great. Now we have a high resolution map. Now I'm going to save this image as PNG file so that it will have the transparent background and OK. So now let's import the PNG file into After Effects. Drag this PNG file to After Effects. And I'm going to drag this file here to create a new composition. Then I'm going to create another composition which is going to be the main one. Make it full HD. So it's going to be 1920 and 1080. I make the duration to 6 seconds and OK. Then I'm going to drag the map composition to the main composition. Add a new solid layer, make it blue and place the layer at the bottom. Then I'm going to resize the map to fit the composition. I then going to put labels on the map. So I'm going to go to the type tool and start by typing the countries first. Then I'm going to duplicate it by pressing Apple D or Ctrl D. Move it here, type Indonesia and another one, Philippines and another one, Borneo. And I'm going to do a few here to make the map look slightly more detailed. Now I'm finally going to use the zoom map that we print screen earlier from Google Map. So I'm gonna drag it to After Effects and drag it to the map composition. Then I'll try to align the map with our shape here. Lower down the opacity so I can see the underneath and try to align it as perfect as I can. Then back to 100% opacity. I'm gonna put more contrast by using level so it's gonna be easier for me to see. Then I'll go to the main composition and I'm gonna type Jakarta here. Make it smaller, move it here, duplicate it, and type Surabaya. Move it here. Then I'm gonna make a shape layer, change the fill color to red, and stroke to none, and draw a circle in the middle. Then I'm gonna move it right here, duplicate it, and move the second one here. I'll create another shape layer, make the fill to none, the stroke to white, pixel to 3. 
and I'm gonna trace a line here simulating the road from Jakarta to Surabaya using the map as reference. Then I'm gonna hide the reference layer. Click the arrow button on the shape layer, click on add and choose trim path. Open the trim path option, decrease the end all the way to zero. Now you can see that the path disappeared to the starting point. So I'm gonna put a keyframe at roughly around one and a half second and then go to roughly about four and a half second change the value of n all the way to 100%. So let's see the animation we just created by scrubbing the timeline. I think this is good. Zoom out a bit. Perfect. Next, I'm gonna put some texture on the map. So I have this texture that I downloaded from the internet I'm gonna use this one, so I'm gonna drag it to After Effects. And I'm gonna drag it right on top of the map layer. I'm gonna make it black and white, so I'll go to Effect, Color Correction, Hue and Saturation, and decrease the saturation all the way to minus 100. Then I'm gonna change the blending mode to Overlay. Look at the before and after. Now the map doesn't look too plain and boring. I can still adjust the texture to make it look stronger by using Level and I'll do some adjustment here. Now, the texture looks stronger and then I'm gonna select all of these layers and turn it into 3D by clicking this button. Now I have all the layers in 3D, I'm gonna add a camera. So I go to layer, new, camera. I'm gonna press C on my keyboard and when you see the cursor change into this, I can rotate the camera in the 3D space now. When I press C again and the cursor change into this, I can pan the camera on the X and Y axis. And when I press C again and the cursor change into this, I can zoom in and out moving through the Z axis in the 3D space. So here now, I'm gonna set the camera position at 0 second to something like this. Once I'm happy with the starting position, I'm gonna set a keyframe at both point of interest and position. Then I'm gonna move to the last frame at 6 seconds and I'm gonna move the camera again to a different position. Zoom in right here, and now we automatically have another keyframe at the end of the 6 seconds. Now, when I scrub my timeline, we can now see the animation of the camera. And I think I'm happy with this one. Next, I'm gonna put a light on the composition. So I go to layer, new, light. And I'll choose point light, leave the color to bright orange, and maybe the intensity to 120. Now, I'm gonna move the light inside the 3D space so I can change the view option from active camera to front and move the point light close to Indonesia. Then I'm gonna change the view option to left and as you can see, this line here actually represents the map layer so I'm gonna move the point light closer to it. Then I can go to the light option, play around with the intensity and change the color into something closer to white. I can also adjust the radius smaller so the light is bright only at the center of the screen. Now, while I'm at the last frame at the 6 seconds, I'm gonna put a keyframe at the radius, go back to 0 second and increase the radius much much bigger. Now let's see the animation. Great. Now I will select all the text layer and I'm gonna move it up a little along the z-axis by holding the blue handle here. Now we can see that the text already cast some shadow on the map and it has more of 3D feel now. I'm gonna select only the country text now and move it further up. Looks much better. But the shadow from the text looks too sharp now. So what we can do is to go to the point light layer, light option and increase the shadow diffusion to maybe 70. Now we can see that the shadow looks more blurry. Maybe I increase it more to 100 much better. Now I'm gonna move the white path below the red circle layer. Looks good. I'm gonna change the starting point of the red circle to somewhere around one and a half second so I can drag it here. Then I will change the starting point of the second red circle to somewhere around four and a half second. Then I think I want the country text to disappear in the middle of the animation so I will select all three layers, press T on the keyboard to open the opacity option and place a keyframe at 2 seconds. Move to 3.5 seconds and change the opacity to 0. 
I'm gonna do the same at the rest of the text layer. So I will go to 3.5 seconds, press T for opacity, set a keyframe, move to 5 seconds, opacity to 0. So now, when we play the animation, we will get this effect, leaving only the text Jakarta and Surabaya. I think I'm gonna put some layer styles on the map. So I go to layer, layer styles, and I choose inner glow. I increase the size to somewhere around 65 and the opacity down to 30. I think this looks good. And I'm gonna add another layer styles, drop shadow. Increase the size and distance. Looks good. And I think I'm gonna add a glow effect on the simulation path. So I select the layer and outer glow. Increase the size and higher opacity. Lastly, I'm gonna go to the point like again and increase the intensity just a bit more. So after a few more tweaking here and there, I render out the video and this is the result. So this is how you can make a map animation in After Effects. If you guys have any question, please leave it in the comment below. I hope you guys learned a thing or two from watching this. Thank you for watching and peace be on you.